hi students if you want to master the subjects especially mathematics you have to practice similar types of problems okay so the similar problems are given in the link given in the description you can click the link you can get the pdf downloaded and you start practicing now if you have not subscribed our channel you subscribe it and share with your friends let us solve the second one it is given that five years ago nuri was three times old as sonu and it is also given that after 10 years nuri will be twice as the age of sonu okay that are the two conditions you have to find their present ages so there are two characters are there nuri and sonu so let us assume that the present age of nuri let will be equal to x years this is the present age of nuri and the present age of sonu let it be y years okay so you get the present age of nuri and sonu nuri's present age is x years and sonu's present age is y years now let us read the question it is given that five years ago that means before five years can you tell me what would be the age of uh, nuri before five years at present his age is her age is x so before five year nuri's age will be x minus 5 see what is your present age now it is 15 or 16 so before five years what was your age 15 minus 5 that is 10 or 16 minus 5 that is 11 the same here the present age of nuri is x years so before five years nuri's age will be x minus 5 then what will be the age of sonu before five years it will be it would be 5 minus y minus 5 okay so we assume the present age of nuri as x and sonu as y before five years age of nuri was x minus 5 and age of sonu was y minus 5 now let us read the question it is given that five years ago age of nuri that is x minus 5 was three times as that of the age of sonu that is three into what is age of sonu before five years y minus 5 that is 3 into pi minus 5 i think it is clear five years ago age of nuri that is x minus 5 was three times that of age of sonu that is 3 into y minus 5 i think it is clear okay now it also becomes x minus 5 equals 3 into y 3y 3 into minus 5 that is minus 15 let us take 3y to this side then it becomes x minus 3y equals minus 15 plus 5 let us take minus 5 to the other side it becomes plus 5 then minus 15 plus 5 that is x minus 3y equals minus 10 that is equation number 1 case 1 okay now let us see what is the second case it is given that after 10 years so can you tell me their ages after 10 years what are their present ages x and y respectively now can you tell me what will be their ages after 10 years so after 10 years nuri's age will be what will be nuri's age after 10 years at present she is x years so after 10 years she will be x plus 10 so after 10 years what will be the age of sonu present age of sonu is y years so after 10 years sonu's age will be y plus 10 now let us read the question it is given that after 10 years the age of nuri that is x plus 10 will be twice that of sonu that is 2 into what is the age of sonu that is y plus 10 after 10 years so x plus 10 equals 2 into y plus 10 that is x plus 10 equals 2 into y 2y 2 into 10 that is 20 let us take 2y to this side then it becomes x minus 2y equals 20 minus 10. let us take 10 to the other side 20 minus 10 that is 10 that is equation number 2 you got equation number 2 
now what is equation number one equation number one is x minus 3y equals minus 10 that is equation number one now what you have to do here you see the coefficient of x it is same here so what you have to do you just you can use elimination method you can just subtract isn't it so let us subtract 2 minus 1 what you will be getting when you subtract these two equations you will be getting it becomes minus it will become plus it will becomes plus change the symbol and you add x plus minus x that is 0 minus 2y plus 3y that is 1y that is y equals 10 plus 10 that is 20 so you get the value of y as 20 if you get the value of y as 20 substitute in equation number 2 or 1 let us substitute in equation number 2 what is the value of x let us find out x minus 2y 2 into y what is the value of y y is 20 so 2 into 20 equals 10 that is x minus 2 into 20 40 equals 10 then what is the value of x value of x is equal to 10 plus 40 let us take minus 40 to the other side that is x is equal to 50 then you get the value of x as 50 and the value of y as 20 what is x x is the present age of nuri so the present age of nuri is 50 years and the present age of sonu is 20 years i think it is clear so let us so when you solve this type of problems you have to read the question twice okay you have first of all you have to understand what the question is this type of problems are sure questions for a board examination this age related problems okay so i think it is clear let us solve this next one let us solve the third one it is given that the sum of the digits of a two digit number is 9 and 9 times this number equals twice the number obtained by reversing the order of the two digit number so you are given a two digit number let that two digit number be you know xy xy be the two digit number it is given that sum of the digits of the number is 9 so what are the digits x and y are the digits so it is given that x plus y equals 9 that's the equation number one sum of the digits of the two digit number is 9 for example let us take 27 what is the sum of the digits sum of the digits is 2 plus 7 that is 9 same okay so one of the sum of the digits of a two digit number is 9 so the two digit number is xy so sum of the digits means x plus y that is 9 equation number 1 it is also given that 9 times the original number is twice the number obtained by reversing the order of the digits that means the original number is xy when you reverse it the number becomes it becomes yx is it clear see let us take consider the number 27 the original number is 27 when you reverse the digit it becomes 72 so the number is xy when you reverse the digits it becomes yx now can you tell me what is the if the two digit number is xy what will be the original number what is the original number in this type of problems first step you have to find what is the original number we assume that the two digit number two digit number is what two digit number equals xy so original number will be equals 10x plus y you know how do you get this 10x plus y the original number let us consider the number 27 okay you have learned in lower classes that means i think in class 2 or 3 you have learned 27 what is the ones place here ones place is 7 what is the place value of 2 that is tens ones tens so how can you expand 27 27 can be written as 2 into 10 plus 7 into 1 what is 2 into 10 20 what is 7 into 1 7 that is 27 actually that is 27 so the same you can apply here the two digit number is xy so what is ones place that is y what is tens place that is x so what is the original number 10 into x that is 10x plus y into 1 that is y so the original number is 10x plus y is it clear when the two digit number is xy that means the original number is 10x plus y 
because if the number is 27 it is 10 into 2 that is 20 plus 7 into 1 that is 7 20 plus 7 27 so if the two digit number is x y the original number is 10 x plus y now you have to find out the number we get on reversing the digit on reversing the digit let us find out what is the number on reversing the digit number becomes can you tell me what is the number x y was our original number when you reverse the digit it becomes y x now how can you expand how can you write in expanded form y x here what is one's place when you reverse it one's place is x tens place is y so y x can be written as when you reverse it becomes tell me that it becomes 10 y plus x because 27 you get 10 into 2 plus 7 into 1 when you reverse it it becomes 72 now how can you get 72 you get 72 as 10 into 7 plus 2 into 1 the same result you have to apply here so on reversing the digit reversing the digits the number becomes y x so the original number is on reversing the digit the number becomes 10 y plus x now let us read the question it is given that 9 times the original number 9 times the original what is the original number 10 x plus y 9 times this number equals twice the number obtained by reversing the order of the digits so when you reverse the order of the digits the number becomes 10 y plus x so according to the question 9 into the original number that is 10 x plus y equals 2 into the number obtained by reversing the order of the digit that is 10 y plus x let us multiply 9 into 10 x that is 90 x 9 into y that is 9 y equals 2 into 10 y that is 20 y 2 into x that is 2 x let us take x, these two terms to the right left side then it becomes 90 x minus 2 x what is 90 x minus 2 x that is 88 x here 9 y 20 y let us take to this side 9 y minus 20 y that is you know 11 minus 11 y equals 0 that is our equation number 2 I think it is clear now you see here if you want you can divide throughout by 11 is common isn't it so let us simplify once again if you divide this throughout by 11 you will be getting 80 x 88 x by 11 that is 8 x 11 by y by 11 that is y equals 0 let us give it as equation number 2 okay it is not it is equation number 2 that is 8x minus y equals 0 what is our first equation the first equation is x plus y equals 9 that is sum of the digits is 9 now if you just add equation number 1 and 2 what you will be getting see the coefficient of y is 1 plus 1 coefficient of y is minus 1 so if you just add what happens you can use the elimination method the y get cancelled so if you add what you will be getting equation number 1 and 2 if you add you will be getting x plus 8x that is 9x plus y minus y that is 0 equals 9 plus 0 that is 9 then what is the value of x the value of x is 9 by 9 that is 1 now if you substitute the value of x as 1 in equation number 1 or 2 you will be getting the value of y let us substitute in equation number 1 in equation number 1 if you substitute the value of x as 1 you will be getting 1 plus y equals 9 then what is y y equals 9 minus 1 that is 8 so you get the value of x as 1 and the value of y as 8 so what is the original number two digit number two digit number is x y what is x x is 1 what is y y is 8 so our number is 18 i think it is clear the number is 18 sum of the digit is 1 plus 8 that is 9 that is true if you substitute the value of x and y in equation number 2 it also will be true let us substitute if you want x is 1 so if you substitute here 1 you will be getting 88 into 1 that is 88 now minus 11 y what is y y is 8 you substitute here 11 into 8 again 88 so 88 minus 88 0 so it is true okay so the two digit number is 18 i think it is clear see here this type of problems are also very important here what you have to do when you get this type of problem first step what you have to do is write the original number let the original you let the two digit number be x y the original number is 10 x plus y on reversing the digits the number becomes you know x y becomes y, y x 
then it will be 10y plus x. It will once place, it is trans place. So the number is 10y plus x. I think it is clear. Then you can proceed. You will be getting the answer. So here the two digit number is 18. Okay. I think it is clear. Let us solve the next one. Let us solve the fourth one. Here it is given that Meena went to bank to withdraw rupees 2000. She asked the cashier to give her only rupees 50 notes and rupees 100 notes. She got total number of notes she got is 25 and you have to find out how many 50 rupees notes were there and how many 100 rupees notes were there. So here if you read the question once, once again if you read it you will understand she got only two types of notes rupees 50 notes and rupees 100 notes. So we do not know how many rupees 50 and 100 notes she got. So here we assume that she got rupees 50 notes. Okay, the number of rupees 50 notes she got is x and rupees 100 not she received is y. So she got only two types of notes. Okay, the first note is rupees 50 and she got another note rupees 100. We do not know how many rupees 50 and 100 notes she got. We assume that she got here x rupees 50 notes and she got y 100 notes. Okay, so according to the problem it is given that the sum of notes she received is 25. That means it is given that x plus y equals 25. I think it is clear. She got x number of rupees 50 notes and y number of rupees 100 notes. So total number of notes she received is x plus y. It is given that x plus y is 25. Equation number 1. It is also you know that she got total how much she got total rupees 2000 she received from the bank how so this 2000 means 50 rupees x notes and 100 rupees y notes she received so together it makes rupees 2000 isn't it so what will be the second equation second equation is 50 x that means she got x notes of rupees 50 and she got y notes of rupees y 100 that is 100 y when you add these two together you she will be getting rupees 2000 so this is equation number two i think it is clear 50x plus 100y gives 2000 rupees you see you can divide this throughout by equation uh, by 50 so this equation becomes if you divide this equation by by 50 you will be getting x here if you divide by 50 you will be getting 2y equals here if you divide by 50 0 0 can cancel 200 by 5 that is 40 so let it be equation number 2 okay this is not equation this is equation number 2 so you got two equations first one is x plus y equals 25 the second one is x plus 2y equals 40 now how can you solve it what is the coefficient of x here 1 coefficient of x 1 so which method is suitable here elimination method you just subtract it what you'll be getting equation number one minus equation number two you change the symbol and you just add x minus x zero y minus 2y that is minus y 25 minus 40 that is minus 15 so what is the value of y y is 15 if you know what is y you can substitute in equation number one you can find what is the value of x equation number one implies x plus y equals 25 what is y 15 x plus 15 equals 25 then what is x x equals 25 minus 15 that is 10 you get the value of x as 10 and the y value of y as 15 what is the what is x x is rupees 50 naught so how many rupees 50 naught she received she got 10 rupees 50 naught she received and the number of 100 naught she received is 15 so together see x is what x is 10 so 10x means 10 into 58 she got 10 rupees 50 notes so what's the total cost total amount 50 into 10 that is 500 
so she got 500 as 50 notes and what is y y is 15 so 15 into 100 1500 she got as 100 notes okay so together 500 plus 1500 that is 2000 so i think it is clear let us solve the next one let us solve the fifth one the last problem of this exercise okay here it is given that a lending library has a fixed charge for the first three days and an additional charge for each day thereafter okay so first first three days the person has to pay a fixed charge and for the remaining days the customers have to pay an additional charge so here sarida paid rupees 27 for seven days and susi paid rupees 21 for five days you have to find out what are the fixed charge and the additional charge for each day so here fixed charge is there and additional charge is there so let us assume that fixed charge is equal to rupees x so x rupees that is the fixed charge and additional charge let it be rupees y so additional charge is rupees y and fixed charge is rupees x so fixed charge is rupees x for how many days for three days so for the next day onwards the persons have to pay the additional charge that is rupees y okay so it is given that the sarida paid a customer sarida paid total of rupees 27 for a day she kept the books for seven days when she kept the books for seven days she paid rupees 27 so this 27 includes the fixed charge for three days and the additional charge so what is the fixed charge fixed charge is rupees x and what is the additional charge for each day so she kept the books for seven days in these seven days the fixed charge x rupees x that includes for three days okay so the fixed charge x includes three days so what are the remaining days the remaining days there are four remaining days because sarida kept the books for seven days so this rupees x is fixed charge that is for the first of three days so the remaining how many days are there there are four days for that four days she has to pay the additional charge for y it is clear that is sarida paid rupees 27 for the fixed charge and for the additional charge fixed charge is rupees x additional charge is rupees y why it is for y she kept the books for seven days okay so here in the fixed charge for three days is rupees x is for the first three days so what are the remaining days four days so for the remaining days she has to pay for y so total she paid 27 rupees that is x plus 4y equals 27. now let us see the case of susi susi total she paid rupees 21 for how many days for five days so this 21 rupees includes this 21 rupees includes the fixed charge that is x and the additional charge y but it is for how many days she kept the books for five days this fixed charge is for three days so what is the, what are the remaining days the number of remaining days that is two that is five minus three that is two so for two days she has to pay two y as additional charge together fixed charge plus additional charge she paid rupees 21 that is equation number two i think it is clear sarida kept the books for seven days she has to pay rupees 27 so this 27 is for the fixed charge plus additional charge fixed charge is rupees x additional charge is for for the first three days the fixed charge is x the remaining days how many days are there total seven days she, she kept the book here three it is gone the remaining days are four days so four y x plus four y equals 27 for susie she paid rupees 21 that is x plus 2y equals 21 why it is 2y she kept the books for five days so 
3 days is rupees x and remaining days 2 days. So 2 into y, x plus 2y equals 21. So you got equation number 1 and equation number 2. So you see the coefficient of x here, they are equal. So you can use the elimination method to solve these two pair of linear equation. You just subtract equation number 1 minus 2. This equation number 1 and this 2, you just subtract. What you will be getting? x minus x, that is 0. 4y minus 2y, that is 2y. 27 minus 21, that is 6. So what is y? y is equal to 6 by 2, that is 3. Now, if you substitute this value in equation number 1 or 2, if you want, you can substitute this in equation number 2. Okay. When you substitute in equation number 2, it becomes x plus 2y, 2 into 3, that is 6, equals 21. So, what is x? 21 minus 6, that is 15. So, what is a fixed charge? <coughs> fixed charge is rupees 15. And what is additional charge? An additional charge is rupees y, that is rupees 3. I think it is clear. 15 rupees is the fixed charge and 3 rupees is the additional charge. Now, let us, we have completed this exercise. Okay, so we have solved these all these problems using elimination method. You know what is what is elimination method? Here we make the coefficient of x or coefficient of y equal, and when you subtract or add, it gets cancelled, it gets eliminated, or it gets removed. That's why this method is called elimination method. Okay, and we did uh, different type of problems that uh, problem related with ages, problems related with two digit number, problem related with nodes. All these are important problems from this chapter. Okay, so you just start practicing and you know, you can download additional problems related with this topic by clicking the link uh, in the given in the description. If you have not yet subscribed, you have to subscribe the our channel to get you know, videos updated. If you find it useful, you can share it with your friends. Okay, and now I will be coming with new topic in the next class. Thank you.